And therefore, that which happened yesterday should be a matter of discussion. It should be a matter of concern to IEBC and the electoral I mean, and, and the uh, law enforcement. We are asking that this process needs to be free, fair, and verifiable. And nobody is above the law. And therefore, that interview yesterday needs to be keenly followed, analyzed, and if there is, if it is clear that uh, the president contravened or the chairman of Azimio contravened the law, the law should take its course. Because we are a nation governed by the law, and all of us, all of us are subject to the same law, and nobody should be above the law. So those are the issues that we are we are uh, we wanted to address today, and just be able to make it clear that Nandi is safe. There is no ethnic tension. Those who are trying to create one must be dealt with by the law. Secondly, everybody will vote tomorrow. We are urging everybody to vote, and I can give you this assurance: the voter turnout that will be witnessed in Nandi in the elections tomorrow is one that has never been witnessed before. There is a lot at stake in this election and the great people of Nandi understand it very well. And we are going to make our voice known and our position known through ensuring that all of us participate in that process. We have also asked that those who need assistance through our agents and through IEBC, through our trainings, we have already prepared and anybody who needs to be assisted in that election will be assisted. And finally, we have asked them to come out early in the morning. We hope that by noon, some of the last people voting in our polling stations will be doing that by noon. Because we hope that we can be able to do this very early in the morning so that then the process can continue without any hitches. Thank you very much. I will now ask any of my colleagues who want to... Add 